this microscopic image of plant cells is showing us that we have a lot of chloroplast inside the plant cells. And so when we look at this, notice there's lots of them, first of all. And the chloroplast, they're rather large, so they're pretty easy to see when we do have um, a light microscope. And the other reason that they're easy to see is because they are packed full of pigments. Now here we're seeing the whole chloroplast, so that would represent just one of these. And then inside of that, we're gonna have a lot of individual discs, which are called thylakoids. So if we talk a little bit more about those pigments and where the pigments happen to be located inside the chloroplast, um, because the pigments are not just widely spread throughout the chloroplast, they do have specific locations to them. So here we have a closer look at some of the pigments that are involved in the photosynthesis process. Um, this is four different ones here. We have more than that that are actually involved. But as we look at the molecular structures of these pigments, one of the first things that I hope that you notice is that they all have this very long hydrocarbon portion. And so these long tails, the reason that we have these is because this is going to allow them to embed in membranes. And specifically, the membranes that they're going to be embedding in is going to be the thylakoid membrane. So when you look at pictures of chloroplast, like drawings of chloroplast, a lot of times when we look at them, we see the chloroplast and then inside the chloroplast, we see that we have little green disc in there. And it's always green disc, and that's because those are the thylakoids, and that's exactly where you're gonna find all of those pigments at. So within the phospholipid bilayer, if this is my phospholipid bilayer, those pigments are gonna be down inside that, something like this. They'll be all throughout. Some of them do actually extend outside of the plasma membrane a little bit. And that's because you do have some portions there that do happen to have some polar covalent bonds inside of them. But in any case, the pigments involved in photosynthesis are going to be highly hydrophobic. That's gonna allow them to embed in the thylakoid membranes. And because that happens to be where they're located at, the thylakoid membranes will also be the site of the light reactions, which are the first stages of photosynthesis. Okay, so the light reactions, their job is to collect light energy. So obviously the pigments, which are the ones that are actually harvesting the light, they're going to be um, the site or where we actually have the light reactions take place.